Hey guys, I'm Jen of Jen Mug Handmade and welcome to my craft room. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys and I wanted to show you guys my little craft space. Uh, this room is the smallest room in my house. It's the smallest bedroom and when we were getting our house built uh, I knew that this space was going to be my craft room. You know, we had planned to have kids and we did and all that fun stuff. And um, they have their own bedrooms and we have our own room, we have our guest room, but this little space is my little slice of heaven. It's my go-to room, my office, and I love it. So I wanted to show it off for you guys and show you how I use my space here. So here we go. Okay, you guys, so when you first walk into my room, I have this hook system here. I have these hooks. I got these at Target at some point, but um, I have these where I hang some of the shawls I don't always, always wear. The ones that I wear the most, I keep in a dresser downstairs um, near our mud room so that I can throw them on when it's cold or, you know, but these are like my fancy shawls. And um, this was painted by one of my dear friends at work for me because I love her so that Harry Potter sign is up there I have some jewelry in here um, I have more jewelry in my bedroom too but some there as well and you know I have more hooks on the back of this for storing some of my shawls as well so um, I you have to be careful when you use hooks um, as to where you are putting the hook through. As you can see here, I did it in these holes right here. I usually just try to find the holy space uh, so I don't stretch out my shawls too much. But it can it can stretch it out a little bit. But I found that once I pick it back up and stretch it out again, um, that it does not hinder it too much. So, And I also keep... This is my Newsome sweater that I made. It's um, on Ravelry. And I keep this in here for when I'm cold and I'm crafting. And I don't want to run and go grab a sweater out of my bedroom. So there's that. And let's see. These chairs were downstairs and they just didn't go with any of the furniture or anything like that. So I brought them up here in my craft space because they are fun. And they're comfortable. They're actually pretty comfortable. They're from Target. And I have them in here for when people are visiting or like hanging out with me. My husband comes up here to talk to me when we're both working from home or he's working from home and I'm, you know, partying in my craft room. So yeah, I love these chairs. This uh, little lamb was gifted to me by my mother-in-law and I love him. And then this pillow right here, this was actually sewn by my grandmother. She made me this pillow before she passed away when she was like, got super dementia. I mean, you can totally tell that the stitching is not, it's not super great, but it makes me happy and I love it because it was made by my Mima before she passed away. So I got my little Google home hub right here so I can talk to it. Hey Google. See, so I'm not going to tell it anything. Um, we can spy on the neighbors over there. Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay. Uh, here is my little closet area and it's a mess in here, but I'm going to show you cause this is real life. So, you know, I have my sewing machine boxes, a project down there. There's some lighting, um, equipment for when I use that. And, and I do have this bookshelf here, which I like, this is a really cheap old bookshelf, but I keep my Swift and yarn winder down here. And when I need to use them, I set them up on my table over here so I can wind stuff up, but I don't like keeping it out all the time because it can get in the way. Um, I really need one of those umbrella swifts. I am not a fan of this kind. I think this is a Chiago one because it's, I mean, although there's the holes where you can quote unquote adjust it, there's my quotation fingers, uh, it doesn't really work very well for me. Uh, so I'd love to get an umbrella one, but I have all of all of my childhood books down here, um, some of my nursing school books, the only ones I actually kept. <laughs> and so, yeah, so those are all there. But I have this little craft caddy. This was by Chicken Boots. Unfortunately, let me move some of this stuff up here over. Unfortunately, Chicken Boots is not around anymore. Uh, she does, or at least she doesn't sell bags, but she does sell sewing patterns. So I think you can get a sewing pattern to make these craft caddies, but I love them. 
Um, it stores, this is like a pattern keeper. I don't really use it, but I have it and it matches, so it stays in here. And this is a, what does this go to? Oh, this is a Nostapen. So if you don't know what a Nostapen is, you can use this to hand wind a ball of yarn. You stick the yarn on here and you wind the, the yarn around it. And, oh, this goes to a, a Nitty Knotty, which is, um, can be used when you're, you're a cool spinner. I used to have a spinning wheel. I sold it when my bo firstborn was born, but I do plan to get another one in the future because I miss spinning. So yeah, I have like clips and safety eyes in here and pom-pom makers and uh, let's turn it around. Just, you know, some beads and cable hooks and stitch markers and all the things that I don't carry all the time in my notions pouch that... Um, but I still use a lot. I keep it in here. So when I need something, I know exactly where it is. This was gifted to me, this, um, Namaste, I think it's a train case. It was gifted to me by my mom bug. And I think it was meant to like carry yarn and stuff. Um, I don't know what, I don't know what it was intended for, but what I use it for, um, is to store all of my needle cases for my knitting needles. So... I have my circular needles, the fixed circular needles in this accordion case, and all this matches. Uh, so all my fixed needles are in here. And I use a lot, my favorite needles are the Addy Sock Rockets um, or Addy Turbos. They're, they're the same thing that the Sock Rockets are like the sock sizes. So I ha I, those are my favorite knitting needles. I also really do love my Knit Picks Aluminum Interchangeable Set, the Prism set. I really do like these a lot as well. Just the, I've noticed that the finish wears off on them, but it doesn't bother me. So here's a bunch of old wooden needles that I don't use anymore because I turned into a metal knitting needler. And yeah, so um, my beautiful Addies are in here. So like I said, I won't show you the inside because Chicken Boots doesn't even make them anymore. But I love this case. Uh, I really love this case. So there's basically the inside. I mean, I've got some other craft storage up top and some shawls, some old fabric of my grandmother, some, some boxes from my computer, things like that. So just things that storage things. So I'm very grateful to have this closet in here. My coffee, my new coffee maker box over there. You know, some of my hokey bags that I'm not currently using right there on top so they don't get crushed because they're beautiful. So that's the closet. Now let's go over to this portion of the room. So here is kind of my desk setup, okay? Um, I've got my computer over here. Oh, I had it on, but look, it, I guess it's restarting itself. Um, I have my, so we'll talk about some of the artwork here. This uh, set of Harry Potter prints is from How the Gal Story Art. She is on Etsy and she is on Instagram and I first saw these at a craft fair, a local craft fair in Cary, North Carolina, and uh, I got the Harry Potter one, but I really wanted the Hermione one too, and then, so my husband was like, I bought the Harry Potter one, and my husband was like, I'll buy you the Hermione one too, uh, Alpha Etsy, and then, of course, I had to also get Ron at that point, because how could you not? So yeah, those, those make me really happy. Look how pretty these are, you guys. She does these, like, this original art and then turns them into prints. Isn't that so much fun? Bradley, uh, my oldest son, he's like, I love this cat. He's like, that's a silly cat. So, anyways, he loves some crookshanks, I guess. So, I have my setup over here. These are socks I don't really wear much. Uh, not because they're not great, but just because I have so many. So, these are my kind of decorative ones for my room. There's some Desivistri... Desert Vista Dye Works, uh, just in case y'all were wondering. And, you know, my little whiteboard with my Outlander quote there. I keep my ruler up here, or my, you know, sewing ruler, so I can unhook it as needed. So I really like having that right there with my little command strip. This is my Coco Knits Craft Caddy. I use this a lot for when I'm designing. And this was gifted to me by Gina of the amazing skein cocaine yarn. Uh, well, she is skein cocaine. So yeah, she gifted me this and I freaking love it in all its pockets. So this has, I keep my CBD hand balm in here. This one's by Lazarus Naturals. I'm not sponsored. I just, I really like this for when I'm knitting and my hands cramp up. The lavender scent. And I've got a nail file and um, 
a pen for when I'm writing notes on my patterns. So I kind of keep that up there. And this is my pegboard from Ikea and I freaking love this thing, okay? I have all of my ribbons up here. I used to sew scrub hats, so when I was sewing them, I had all these ribbons that I would add on there and it was great because I could just come up here and pull out the length I needed and then cut it. So I love having that up there. I think it's like technically like a paper towel holder or something. Um, so if you are like searching for something for your pegboard that's similar, that's what I would I would search for. But Ikea has those and I love them. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get because it was during the pandemic and I had to order them on Amazon for much more money, but it was totally worth it. So I have my tulip pink scissors over here hanging so so nicely and some measuring apparatuses for sewing. Y'all know, y'all sewers know. These were like mask templates uh, for when I was making a lot of masks. So I have those because I got tired of cutting through the paper and all that. And my, you know, rotary blade. I have my little mini iron. This brand is steam fast. I love it. It works amazing. It comes with this little cup to fill the, the water up in the iron. And um, this, you know, I don't really have anything in here. This is just this is just for show, but this cute little folder there. These are my snaps for when I'm doing like baby clothes and bibs and things that require snappies. So that's, these are cam, K-A-M-M -M snaps. And I love them. So yeah, I have all of that on my little pegboard over there. And this thing is insanely useful. I really love it. And down here, I have some cording for, you know, whatever bags I use it for my babyness and this other cotton webbing over here I use for like um, handles on my little hand sewn bags I make this is my gorgeous serger this is a genome and I love my genome stuff my local fabric shop sells genome so you know there are a lot of good brands genome Bernina what have you but I went with the genome because my local um, fabric shop sells them and I wanted to make sure I had a place to take them to get serviced if they ever fall apart or something so there's this beautiful picture over here and this is by L Baker Art and she is on Etsy she's on Instagram isn't that freaking gorgeous I'm trying to get it where the glare is in there oh I love 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 this this picture and this is also just a print that um I think I got a frame. Yeah, I bought the frame for it separately, but oh my gosh, love it. I got my little Ikea light over here, my fan. I got this when I was pregnant and a med surge nurse. I'm still a nurse, but I'm a labor and delivery nurse now. But yeah, I was super pregnant and I it's USB powered, so it's um, I could plug it into my computer. But I use it in here when it gets really hot in the summer, like now. And, you know, just my... My son, these came out of bath bombs, and they're like little unicorns, so I keep those in here. This was also my, like, first Valentine's Day gift from Bradley. It was that unicorn back there, so I love it. And so in here, I just have, like, paper clips and hair bows and little pieces of elastic, little knobbly whatever. I don't know what you call them. I have my sewing clips in here. These, these Wonder Clips, if you sew and you don't have Wonder Clips, like... What are, are you even living life? Because these things are freaking amazing. Um, instead of pinning, you can just clip your edges together. And I freaking love them. Um, this thing, it's called that purple thing. That's what it's actually called. And I got this in my local craft store too. But this thing is amazing for when you turn, when you're sewing and you turn things inside out. Um, and you need to poke the fabric in right. Y'all sewers know what I'm talking about. I use that thing all the time. And my little snips, also Tula Pink, and my seam ripper, because if you, and this is just your basic run-of-the-mill seam ripper, I have found this to be the best one. I don't like the surgical blade type. Um, this one is what's up, so love that. But yeah, I keep, and a nail file, of course, because I, I keep a nail file everywhere, like literally everywhere that I can think of, so yeah, because when you're a knitter and sewer, you can't have snaggle nails, and um, that's my favorite coffee shop from my hometown in uh, Roanoke, Virginia. I'm partial to the Salem, Virginia one, though. 
These are my sock blockers up here and they are by Knitting Left, but unfortunately she is no longer going to be making sock blockers. Um, the person who, it was her and uh, a guy and he got put on hospice care and he was the one who made these. So that makes these even more special to me. And okay, so here's my beautiful sewing machine. I love it. It's the Skyline S7. I thought about getting the S9, but the only difference is that that one does embroidery. And I talked to my lady at the uh, sewing shop and she said that if I wanted to do embroidery, just get an embroidery machine because it is actually a pain in the butt to have embroidery on the machine and then want to sew. Because if you have embroidery set up on here, which it takes a minute to set up, then you can't sew on it too. So I thought that was a pretty good point and pretty awesome. And I freaking love this thing. It is awesome. It's expensive, but she was worth every penny for me. So I really love that. Um, you got like, you know, all your electronic options over there. It's super easy to use. But anyways, that's my Genome Skyline S7. I have all my bobbins in the back here behind so that I can easily reach them when I'm sewing. And I love this. I got this thing on Amazon. And let me tell you, it was a pain in the butt to like put all these things together because you had to snap all this together. And I think I even like cut myself doing it, but it was totally worth it because I freaking love my bobbin holder. I've got elastic up here that I use when I'm sewing, um, extra serger thread. So yeah, it holds everything. It's amazing. So let me scoot that back. Um, you know, some, some great artwork there. My little Snape Funko Pop. Yes, I colored that picture because I'm a nerd. My Mr. Darcy. And I keep this little... This right here was from Ikea as well. This, um, what do you call it? Cork board. There it is. And I keep, obviously, pictures of my family and friends and my loved ones. And I have notes from one of my most sewn patterns up here. So I kind of just write notes on there. And um, this is my favorite candle right here. Hot Chocolate Marshmallow by the Silver Dollar Candle Company. Holy crap, it smells amazing. Just telling you. And the other one in the back is from uh, Madewell. And surprisingly, I don't know why, this has the most addictive scent ever. What's the... Bergamot and Amber. Oh my god, I love it. I have... This is actually the second one that I've gotten in this scent. Like, so... That tells you how much I love it. But I keep my candles that I use all the time right there. And I, I just have these... Starbucks cups. But this is a tumbler that was designed by my friend, Quatisha. I work with her. She is another labor nurse. It says Mrs. Bish, which I love. Look how freaking beautiful that is, okay? Um, I actually cracked the bottom. I dropped it at work, so I'm going to need another one. I'm going to need another one. So anyways, here's my sweet computer setup. Um, I, it's decided to do an update. So sorry, I had my pretty screensaver on here, but this is what you get. And these are my Logitech speakers. This is Ducky brand keyboard. I love this keyboard because it's compact. Uh, it does not have the number keys on the right side. So I do miss that sometimes, but it's totally worth it to just have the compact version. It is wired which I don't mind because it's a it's a mechanical keyboard. So it's freaking sweet and it works super well. So I would rather have my stuff wired and working well than to be janky and replacing the batteries. And this is Glorious HQ is the mouse brand. My husband's a network engineer, y'all. So aka a computer nerd. So he decks me out in all the cool speakers and tech. Okay. And I just have an Asus laptop for now. I'm uh, planning on getting a MacBook soon. Like the maybe the Mac Mini because that thing is the bomb. So, and I'm starting my master's degree soon. So yeah, cool stuff over there. So here is my yarn wall or what, whatever you would call it. Let me back up for you guys. Yeah, so I really love it. Uh, I took these Christmas lights off of one of my favorite pre-lit Christmas trees. It was literally like a $30 or $40 tree. We bought it at Walmart years ago, and it was a white tree, and I just love the lights so much. But the white tree started to turn yellow, and it was it was cheap looking, but I, I just love that cheap little tree. But I didn't want to part with the lights, so I decided I would put them up top, and I freaking love them. So, and the best part is I can do this. Hey, Google.
Turn off Jen's lights. Hey Google, turn on Jen's lights. Sweet. So yeah, um, my husband also has us like decked out with the tech in the lighting game. So anyways, so down here at the bottom, I have knitting books and magazines. These are like my all my nomadic knits, lane magazines right there. These are just all kinds of magazines. I kind of have it, you know, sorted. These are like my pattern books for sewing and knitting. And over here, just more of that. And then I have some more pattern books for knitting because clearly I don't have enough. These are just like some of my Harry Potter books and other books I don't have in my bookshelf. Um, some, you know, folders. I keep my knitting patterns. This is also how I keep. So I keep extra knitting patterns in these. Well, this is a sewing pattern that I haven't cut yet, but it's in this snap type of envelope. I got that on Amazon. And I have some, um, some memory books that I have not done anything with yet because I'm a great mom. So there's that, um, those picture books, but you know, I bought them. So there you go. And you know, back here I have some of my like nursing awards and my degrees because I'm cool and I shove them in a corner instead of like putting them on my wall, right? Um, so yeah, my like my Daisy Award over there, which is kind of a big deal, but you know, it can just live in the corner, no big deal. Um, those are my new school supplies for school. I know you guys care about that crap. So, anyways, um, on to the yarns. Down on these shelves, um, I have like old skeins that I, I'm not using and like in here I have just some just some old stuff random things a, a giant Bernie mitten you know no big deal I just have just that kind of stuff in here this back here mom bug you're gonna laugh um if she's watching this which I know she will this is my oldest knitting project ever you guys and I still have it I'll, I'll feature this on a podcast but I still have it. I promised you I would make this. She bought me that yarn literally when I first started knitting because I begged her and she's like, you're not going to finish knitting that. And I said, yes, I will. Yes, I will. And it's still not complete, but that's okay. Um, back here, I have a yarn dyeing kit my husband got me. So I need to do that because he got me that for Mother's Day. Isn't that freaking sweet? It's like from natural dyes and a picture that Bradley made in the background. This shelf is like sock yarns. And so I kind of keep it organized like this. Sock yarns here. This is like all the Knit Picks Dishy in the back and the Knit Picks Felici and then like the balls of sock yarns in the front there. Over here I have my sweater quantities that are waiting for me to knit them up. Um, so I'm excited about that. This shelf is just more like worsted other, it's like other yarns, worsted weight and DK weight. And I have some lace weight Miss Babs down there. This shelf right here is just like random whatever, and um, yeah, and this is like my skein cocaine shelf because I've become a Gina fangirl, and I love all her stuff, so um, some of this is going to get cast on very soon, and these are like my big honkin' skeins right there. I also have fabrics for when I sew. These are, this is all that I kept from my scrub hats leftover because I have this idea that I'm going to make some button up shirts out of them. We'll see. And I keep all my packing supplies in here. So like, um, sometimes I sew buttons on things. So that's in there, but I keep like my cellophane and my mailer bags in there. And then here's some like knit apparel fabrics that I have. And you know, the rest of the shelves, like there's colored pencils and this bag back here. I've got um, just some pom-poms and this awesome, Gina sent me this little pendant kit and I love it. I can't wait to make it. Sweet sheet plate from Anthropology, you know, just fun stuff. There's some things in there and some of these boxes that are like special to me, like that T10 has some things that way back in the day when I worked at Golden Corral, customers gave me like fun coins and stuff. So that's in there. Here's a picture of my friends from high school. We did The Sound of Music. <laughs> Um, this is my wedding. Wait, is that my one? No, that's my bridesmaid bouquet from my childhood friend's wedding right there. And, you know, I've got some yarn in that bag up there. 
and it's pretty cool. Oh, that crazy cat in the background. That was gifted to me, also a nurse gift um, from one of the volunteers. He said I was crazy and I got, uh, I deserve to get a crazy cat. So that was hand sewn by somebody. And it will picture me and my friend, some balls in the background. This um, is some fiber from my mom bug's sister and it's from her freaking alpacas and I love it. So when I get back into spinning, I'm gonna spin them bitches up. I got this beautiful sheep also at a local craft fair and I love her. Ooh, there's my llama. And you know, why would you not have a beaded skull in your craft room? Duh. Um, that's my doll from when I was a child. I know she's kind of creepy, but she's makes me happy. So yeah, I just have all these vases with plans to fill them with, you know, yarn scraps and things. More yarn scraps up here. This was my penguin knitted by my mom bug and I love and a sweet handwritten note from my boss because she's the freaking best. She like literally nursing managers don't do this stuff, y'all. She'll send us valentines and all kinds of super sweet notes. So that's freaking awesome. There's my wisdom teeth in that um, jar right there because I'm cool. And, uh, you know, giant knitting needles and um, my statue from when I won my Daisy Award at work. So that's fun. And, you know, more Doctor Who and knitting paraphernalia, some tarot cards. And there's my little mannequin head up there. She modeled so many scrub hats for me and she is such a trooper. I got her from Pier 1, but you can find this glass. If you just search glass mannequin head, it's basically the same one. So anyways, yeah. Just a couple more things I wanted to show you guys. I keep a lot of my whips underneath my table here and in these bags. And um, over here, I have all of my fabric scraps that I decided to keep. This is just what I decided to keep. And these bins are stuffed full from my leftover Etsy shop. So all that is down there. And I wanted to also show you guys how I store some of my sewing things. I just have, this is what's in this drawer right here. Knickknacks, you know, I gotta have a lighter for my candles. And this is like stuff from when I was shipping things. I have these labels and my old business cards, a scale, my cards where I write notes, all that fun stuff. You know, some tool for wrapping things, all that in there. I have my gin bug handmade sewing or clothing labels. These are called cord locks. I use these on my scrub hats. Um, these are size labels for kids clothes, lint roller, extra thread. This is the device that goes with my cam snaps. So that's what that's for. You just use this sucker and snap it on. Um, yeah, so lots of stuff in there. And down here I have just other odd things. I keep this duster in here because sewing table gets really dusty. These are metal snaps I got. They kind of are crap. I didn't like them. And oh, the rest of my wonder clips that I'm spilling everywhere, you know. But down here, this is how I organize my sewing patterns. So these are the baby leggings that I make for like every single coworker. Also, I keep them in here in this folder, okay. And I have them paper clipped by size. So we have zero to three months. And then, you know, uh, I think the three, there's three to six months. So it goes on. I don't even do newborn size, to be honest, because and all of those of you who have had babies will know that newborns grow out of newborn clothes immediately. So there's no need in even sewing that size. And I love, this is the brindle and twig. They're like the cuffed leggings, this pattern. Uh, it's amazing. I love the cuffs because they help fit the babies for like ever. I feel like my boys wore those leggings and for so many years, each of them in the sizes. So uh, I haven't added this, but this is a boxer pattern that I made for my husband. It's made by, made, made for mermaids. Yeah, men's gable, made for mermaids. Yeah, great pattern. I freaking loved it. So easy, so easy. I'm gonna make him like all the boxers. So I need to get a little folder for that. But I have, I just have everything in these folders here. Like these are my scrub hat patterns. So I keep them all neatly organized in here and I just throw them in this drawer and I shut the door. Also, my desk system was from Ikea as well. 
this, I think it's the Alex, I don't remember. But you can buy all the components separately and kind of put them together yourself. So that bad boy is from Ikea and I love it. I have a lot of space. Yeah, I can't really, I mean, if I didn't have this chair here, I could get kind of get on the side of my table more, but I just kind of lean over, whatever. Um, I love this for ironing. It's just a felt, felted wool ironing pad and it fits perfectly over my um, cutting mat here. And this is a Tula Pink cutting mat as well. So it just fits right over that. So there it is. There is my setup for you guys. So anyways, y'all, there it is. There's my craft room. I am so glad you guys could take a little tour with me today and kind of see my space and what I have going on. Um, and I plan to do a few more upgrades and up the upgrades in this room. I want to get like a chandelier and a rug and uh, this computer chair right here is awful. Um, I definitely need to upgrade that so my back would thank me later. But anyways, thanks for watching and joining me today. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of my podcast.